Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to a Shenmue Dojo video. Today's video, I'm going to be looking at the footage that was released last night from Frogbull, who has somehow got Shenmue working on the Sega Saturn. Essentially a D-make type situation, I guess. Now, Frogbull, for those of you who aren't aware, is the person responsible for getting Metal Gear Solid running on native Sega Saturn hardware, and also Crash Bandicoot, and you can go and check the videos out on the YouTube description below, um, so you can go and check all those out at your own leisure. But what I am very, very interested in for the 30th anniversary of the Sega Saturn is they then got Shenmue going back to its roots on the Sega Saturn itself. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I'm sure most of you are, Shenmue started out on the Sega Saturn as a Virtual Fighter RPG, then morphed into Shenmue, sort of, when you look at the Sega Saturn footage, you can see that you've got Dabuita, the Dojo, and some other bits and pieces as well. So we know it was fairly deep into development at that point in time. Panda Mode, when I interviewed him, basically said that it was probably running on stock hardware, which does then then credence to the fact that this demo, whatever you want to call it, by Frogball, is running on native Sega Saturn hardware. Maybe pushing it incredibly hard, I don't know. So, the video itself is very, very short. There's a 15 minute video, which I've linked below for everybody to have a look at as well. Um, and it, it's basically a tour of the U Arcade. Now, in terms of actual layout, it's fairly one to one. There's some bits and pieces and differences around it, but I'm sure you can pick those out yourself. And Rio's model doesn't move. He sort of just floats around a little bit. I don't really care about that, quite frankly. I'm more interested in the feel and the aesthetic of it, which when you compare it to the Sega Saturn footage itself, it does look pretty like it could have been pulled out of that Sega Saturn version and just plonked in here and, and made playable. It really, really does. So what you've got is all the arcade games lined up there. So you've got darts, although you can't play it. You've got QT, um, Excite QTE rather, QTE title, which does work. Um, you don't see the punching animations, but the paddles come up and they drop down when you make the button press. Then you've got uh, Master System versions running of Space Harrier, Hang On, and Wonder Boy through the relevant cabs there. So obviously the Space Harrier cabinet works, the Hang On cabinet works, and then on the flat cabinet where you see the bike is sat normally in the Dreamcast game, which you obviously can't play anything there, Wonder Boy works, which again, is a nice little touch to make sure that works and kicks through and just gives that little feel to it. There's no NPCs in there, so the guy who runs the arcade, you haven't got him there. Um, you've got nobody popping in and out. It's very much isolated to the U Arcade and is a tour of that. That's fine, it's not a problem. Shenmue is a massive, massive game and I'm yeah, going bigger than that. It'll probably take a massive amount of effort to do so. One thing I am aware of, and I could be misunderstanding this potentially, so please do correct me, is that a demo might be coming in the next few weeks. Now, if this is playable, I will obviously pick this up and do a video giving it a quick go, little analysis, all the rest of it. I could have misunderstood that, um, but if it does, fantastic, I will cover it. And if it doesn't, then great, we still got this footage anyway. Now, it does look great. Um, it definitely has that, that Sega Saturn feel of Shenmue. Um, and as I said earlier, it could easily have been pulled out of a, you know, the footage from the Sega Saturn, which is fantastic to see. It's not the Sega Saturn footage, let me stress that. It's not the Sega Saturn game. This is somebody who's made this at home, taken Shenmue and, and done whatever wizardry to it. I don't know how they've done it. Um, I'm sure, Frogwell, if you're around, please do go into the Discord and explain that. I've seen you pop the link in for this video, so please go and you know, feel free to explain how it all works. I don't have a clue, and I'm not technologically minded in that sense. But what's been pulled off looks fantastic. I think it's a nice homage to Shenmue on the Saturn and also pays the Sega Saturn itself as a console, which I can't believe is 30 years old. Um, a brilliant homage to Sega Saturn, which is a vastly, vastly underrated console considering all the history that it's got and some absolutely fantastic games on it as well. So make sure, guys, check out the links in the YouTube description. Go and check that out for yourself and you know, let me know what you think of it. I think it looks great. As ever, guys, at the end of the video, for £2 a month, you can be a member. You get all video content ahead of time. Any money we make goes to running the website, the competitions, etc. But if you don't, don't worry about it. It just then goes um, into the normal scheduling, which is normally on a Saturday and sometimes a few hours later to when the members get the videos as well. Podcasts aren't, aren't locked behind it. We've always kept that that way. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and all the usual places you can find us. And I will be back with a video in the not-too-distant future. But for now, guys, take care. Have a good one.